Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much Pants. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird stuff in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul but I'll remember our Tom fondly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if that scared you. <laughs> Cause that kind of scared me and I was the one doing it. Hi babies, uh, welcome back to a decluttering slash organizational series. This series is going to be ongoing um, for the next uh, thousand years as I start to reorganize my room. I think about two weeks ago, I did a video about my powder bronzers. First of all, thank you so much uh, for all your helpful uh, just tips and stuff. And I apologize. <laughs> for making so many of you mad with my organizational skills. Listen, I am not happy with what I did either and I started to panic and I just started chucking things in because nothing was fitting correctly. I wanna redo that. I feel like that was not a good representation of me. Uh, so in today's video, expect that. <laughs> that again because I feel like I'm gonna be like um, panicking and just like chucking things into a container. So the whole point of today's video is I'm going to look at all the cream bronzers that I have and I'm just gonna you know just chuck the ones that I'm, I'm really not using um, because I have a lot of them and I you know I, I don't even know why I'm holding on to some of them it's it's stupid. So that's what we're gonna do today. That said don't beg for anything in the comments don't be weird uh, <laughs> Don't, just don't, don't, whatever. Anything that I shelve is gonna be going to a good home, whether it's to someone I know or the garbage. So that said, before I decide to bear my soul, a word from today's sponsor. Thank you again to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring today's video. Y'all, I fell in love with Pear earlier this year because I love the whole process from try on to purchasing to receiving, everything was oh so seamless. But even more than that, do you know how much fun <laughs> it is to do this and this and even this? This never gets old. Pear Eyewear is a revolutionary eyewear brand changing how the world wears glasses. They offer high quality, affordable, customizable prescriptions, including blue light glasses, and they have frame styles for everyone, including our darling aliens. Even they have a pair, and quite snazzy, might I add. The process is seamless. First, you pick your base frame. And I know it can be scary when picking out something online because you don't know how it's gonna look, and you're like, I don't know, am I making the right choice? Well, I'm here to tell you that Pear's virtual try-on experience is seamless, it's top notch, and it takes the guesswork out of the equation. Now the ones that I'm wearing are called the Murphy. I got a big old noggin, and this is perfect for my melon. The extra wide frame has that oversized feel without it being too big, too small, it's just right. And I love picking the clear ones because I love embodying a hacker from the 90s. I just do, it's great. So once you pick your base frame, then you get to pick your top frames. And there's truly something for everyone. And it's almost impossible not to get them all. For me, one of the best top frames is actually the sunglass option. You don't know how much of a game changer it is, okay? Living in Florida, having to have multiple pairs of glasses on you weighs you down. And you run a good risk of ruining your makeup every time you take your glasses off. So the fact that I can just do this in a store, game changing, mind blowing, you have no idea, okay? <laughs> When I was hunting for Halloween decor and I was at Home Goods being disappointed, I had three people walk up to me asking me, how did you do that? I'm like this, it's simple, look, it's simple. <laughs> For walking around in stores alone, this is worth it. <laughs> After you're done, then you wait patiently for these little babies to show up. So if you're interested in checking out Pear Eyewear, click the link in my description box to get 15% off your first pair. Thank you to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring today's video and y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage queen. Thank you. Okay, so let's start with, I'm just kind of grabbing things at random, okay? Let's start with Say. I love both of these bronzers and I kind of want to keep both of them, but I really, I need to be a little bit more cutthroat. Last time I feel like I wasn't cutthroat enough and I, I really, I, I should be cutthroat. Cut to me at the end of this video being not cutthroat. I know me, I'm a Libra. <laughs> try okay fuck okay so this is an amazing bronzer this is probably one of my favorite cream bronzers of all time this is the sun melt i have it in fair as well as light fair is a newer shade the shade light was the lightest shade but not anymore so this is what she looks like she's so good she's definitely a, a warm glow for sure but she's not orange which is the most important thing i feel like i should add however if i'm being completely honest here i've been using the fair one more as of late because it is a better match for me, but I can get away with light. I'm gonna put the, the light one in the maybe pile because I feel like I still can use it because I, 
I still, I still love it. But oh, fuck, we're gonna put this in the maybe pile. <laughs> But I'm definitely gonna keep fair though, because fair is a really good match for me. And as you can see, light is definitely on the deeper side for sure. But bitch, this is so good. This is so, so good. If you ever see this during a Sephora sale, pick this up, you will not regret it. Keeping in the vein of duplicate products, I have two products from Rare Beauty. I have the Happy Soul and the Power Boost. I believe this is another similar situation. The brand released more shades. This one is such a good product. So this one is, what the hell is this one? This one's Happy Soul. This is the one that we're going to be decluttering today. And that is the shade Power Boost. This, it's so good, y'all. It's so fucking good. Now I don't know which cap it was. <laughs> I think it's this cap. But I know I'm going to freak out in editing and be like, it's the wrong cap. Okay. <laughs> this is another product that very similar to say really beautiful very easy to use and i love that it's in a stick form so it's super easy to apply blends out beautifully it's just a really good cream product this is one of the best products from rare beauty in my opinion and um i was totally fine with happy soul i could totally get away with it but even though this is definitely on the warmer side which i'm not a huge fan of like super warm things there are moments where i'm really like oh yeah i kind of want that warm tea glow and i get excited so i think i'm gonna definitely keep this guy Oh, I got bronze on my finger. I definitely think I'm gonna keep this guy and I'm gonna put, <sighs> it's, it's, it's hard because it's a good product still. Like I still could see myself using it, but question is, do I wanna use it? <laughs> Yes, I do want to use it, obviously. I don't know. I'm going to put him in the maybe pile. We're going to put you in the maybe pile, let's say. And we're going to put this in the good pile. <laughs> this is going to take forever. God damn it. The next product is from Jones Road. This is fantastic. I love the shit out of the powder bronzer. And the liquid bronzer is so amazing. This is in the shade Light. It doesn't look like much when it comes out. It kind of is like, oh, okay, eh, like whatever. But when I tell you, this applied all over the face, if you are uncooked chicken, fucking game changer. While it appears very, very deep, it blends out to look really, really nice on fair skin. And again, it's another product that's warm, but not too warm where it looks like I belong in the Jersey Shore. So we like her. We're going to keep her. The next two products I have are from Chantecai. So let's start with this one first. This is the Radiance Gel Bronzer. This is actually new. Now, I have used this product before and it's fine. It's okay. Like I, I like it, but I actually like their powder bronzer better. And because I haven't opened this one, this is going to go to a good home. So we're going to put that to the side. Now, when it comes to this product, this is the anti-aging face tint. I like this, but it's fucking messy as all hell. And because it's messy, I don't love using it. And also I found that while a very, very light layer, the skin looks really, really nice and more of a cooked chicken, there is a really good chance if I use too much that it could become really, really orangey. And so for that, I'm gonna kind of put this in the no pile. So sorry, Shantika, you're out. <laughs> But their powder bronzers are fine. It's just, yeah, this, yeah, not good enough to be in the collection. I just realized something. I forgot I had this stick. <laughs> this is the one that, oh God. Okay, so I have three Rare Beauty sticks. This is the one that I should be keeping because this is the lightest shade. This is like a recent one. This is the shade Bright Side. Oh God, I saw the remnants of Chantecai, whatever. This is Bright Side. This is the one that I'm keeping. Now looking at all of them, as much as I enjoyed the, the other two, rare beauty product it's just this clearly actually fuck all right maybe maybe i'll keep i'll keep power boost <laughs> power boost is pretty nice all right i'm gonna keep power boost and i'm gonna keep the bright side shade i'm gonna i'm going to yeah i'm gonna declutter happy soul happy soul i don't need but i think between those two i feel good about those and now they both go to the yes pile <laughs> good job rare beauty and also fuck how did i forget that one jeez I have so many Danessa Myricks things that I feel like I could really kind of whittle these babies down. So I am gonna say that I love this one still. This one's really great. This is the Chewy, the Chewy. <laughs> I was about to call it the Chewy Dick Palette. <laughs> this is the Dewy Cheek, oh fuck. This is the Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. So I think these are really great as contour shades. But you know what though? I've had this for a little bit. So this is a palette that I would normally keep because I really, really like the formula. But if I'm gonna be honest with myself, I know I'm not gonna really be reaching for this one. And I haven't reached for it in a little bit. So I feel like the formula is probably not as good as it could be. It feels a little stiff, honestly. So I think this is kind of past its prime at this point. But when I did use it, I really, really enjoyed it. We had a lot of good times with it. And I think the products that are within these little palettes, there's another one that is blush tones. They're good, they're perfect, love them. 
Linda Evangelista, they're great. Uh, but if I'm gonna be honest here, yeah, I'm not gonna be really uh, using this one anytime soon. But when I did use it, I enjoyed the shit out of it. So, sorry, baby. And the same could be said for this little guy. I'll be honest, I, you know, it's okay. I never really like fully loved this thing. It was always just fine. And it was always to the point where it was so fine that it never really crossed my mind to ever use it. So I'm going to pass on this little guy. I don't even want to swatch it. I've had it for a little bit. So I think he actually belongs in the garbage, unfortunately. But yeah, not my favorite Janessa Myricks product. Okay, so now we have the yummy skin. To this day, I still feel like I don't know how to use these. And <laughs> I have quite a few of them. I did get the whole collection and I've tried my hardest to try to understand like what are the best practices for them. And on some days they could work, but on some days they just make me look a little off. And I think the only thing that kind of keeps me hanging on is the fact that they come with little Coke spoons. I think that's really cool. That's probably my favorite thing out of the whole fucking experience is that I have a little tiny Coke spoons. So we're gonna put those, <laughs> so we're gonna put those back. But um, this is in the shade four. I mean, she's so creamy. She's so creamy. It makes me like, when I touch it, it makes me go, you know what? Did you give it a fair shot? Maybe you should try it again, bitch. <laughs> Mm, okay, I think I would keep four. I wouldn't keep six for sure. Six is giving me Alme vibes and it's scaring the shit out of me. So I think I would, would declutter this one. But you know, maybe maybe I need to try this again. Maybe I need I need to do a video kind of um, talking about products that are like meh. And let me see if they work for me now or if they're still meh, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> But you know what I mean though? <laughs> I'm gonna put him in the maybe pile. I'm gonna put him in the maybe pile and we're gonna declutter this one. Last but not least, these are two new products from Vanessa Myricks and I have it in the shade Majesty and Legendary. And these are the Vision Flush Glow. These are fantastic. I think I can kind of declutter this one because while I can make it work, it's a little bit more kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I don't, I don't need these two guys. Actually, this is like a straight up highlighter. Oh yeah, I know it. I, I remember now. I think when I started to kind of like blend it out, I tried to make this more of a bronzer shade and it did work. It was a very, very radiant, albeit I have the Midas touch, you know, um, but it still looked really, really good. The formula was really, really nice and easy to work with. It's just, I think the colors just look, yeah, we don't need this so we can declutter, but these were fun though. Moving on to the most expensive bronzer in my collection. This is the Les Beige from Chanel. I finally picked this up uh, when they came to Ulta, used some Ulta points and I regret nothing. And ew, no, no, this, this is a new product. What the fuck? Oh no! no! Oh fuck! I didn't even use it that long ago. What happened? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so pissed right now. Yo, how is it some products that I've had, I, I don't want to say for 3,000 years, but products that I fucking got, at least within 2022, and it's still fucking creamy. And this shit I get, and it's so janky. Are you fucking kidding me right now, bro? What happened? Oh, okay, I fuck. <laughs> Okay, so let me explain what it feels like for the folks at home. It feels like I am putting my finger in a dirty water puddle. <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. It feels fucked up and gnarly. And oh man, see it's so pretty. Like I really love the color of this, but shit is chunky as fuck. Ah, ugh. It's giving me diarrhea vibes. <laughs> I don't love it, but yeah, like, okay, wait, wait, wait. I think maybe, maybe it was a little too cold. I do keep my house at like negative thousand. So maybe that's what it is. Okay, it's starting to come out, but I feel, <laughs> I feel like at this point, it's like, what the fuck? Ugh, it's so chunky. It's chunky. <laughs> Hold please. I'm so mad. I don't want to have to fucking chuck this bitch. I literally just got it not that long ago. <sighs> I'm going to put this in the maybe pile for right now because while it was very disturbing trying to get any pigment, when I did get the pigment, I still enjoyed the color. Even though it looked like chunky diarrhea soup, I still enjoyed the color. <laughs> So I'm gonna hold on for a second. And I'm sure you're probably saying, are you really, really? <laughs> but like, I just, I have an attachment to this stupid fucking bronzer because I wanted it for so long and I finally got the fucking thing. And now I'm, everything in my life's a lie, okay? I am trying the best right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. <laughs> but fuck me, Ugh. Okay, 
moving on. Let's talk about some e.l.f. We got a couple of e.l.f. products here. And you know, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I haven't touched these in a minute. And I don't see myself touching them anytime soon. And uh, this guy, I like this guy. He's good. He's like um, a nice little, not really a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. A Charlotte Tilbury. Not really a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. It's definitely a lot lighter than say their, uh, the contour one. But this is a really pretty, cool tone shade that always works out very, very well for me. So we're gonna keep him. And then when it comes to the putty bronzers, it's been a minute since I opened this one. Oh, I actually didn't even open this one. All right, so this, this is actually perfect. That's gonna be a good one to fucking donate. So we're gonna donate that one. This is the one that I use. And this is the lightest one. It's like the cool tone option. Kind of reminds me of like the Fenty Amber Stick in a way. I said, I actually like the formula of this one more than the Fenty one. Fenty one was always very, very dry on me. I know me, I'm not gonna fucking gravitate towards it. And the fact that this is not even open, that's even better. That will definitely go to a good home. So yeah, I'm gonna chuck this and we're gonna donate this one. Another great drugstore option is from Milani. This is the Liquid Contour and the Conceal and Perfect line. This is fucking great. This is great. Love it. Don't have anything bad to say about it. Other than probably I'm not a fan of the sponge tip. And I feel like it's different enough from the e.l.f. one. The e.l.f. one's more of like a contour anyway. It's a different one from the e.l.f. So I feel good about both of those. We're keeping both of these guys. Another drugstore option we have is from Flower Beauty. This is the low light liquid contour. I'm pretty sure I hated this fucking thing. Flower Beauty is funny because some things are really, really fucking good and then some things are really, really bad. I'm pretty sure this is a product that I didn't like. Or am I thinking of the highlighters? Because the highlighters I'm not a fan of. Hmm. And I know their highlighters suck, but this actually looks pretty decent though. I have so many tip ones. Hold on, let's look at the Milani one. Cause I know the Milani one is fucking great. Yeah, they're kind of, they're different tones. Okay, we're gonna keep the Flower Beauty, but you're on your final notice because I honestly don't remember if I love it or not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks good color wise though. We're gonna keep her, we're gonna keep her. So we have some stuff from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the beautiful Skin Sunkiss Glow Bronzer in the shade Fair. And she is still just as good as she was when I first picked her up, which is amazing. Wish I can say the same for that fucking Chanel over there, but she's good. Love her, still continue to use her. So we're gonna keep that one. And you know what, this one, okay, let me look at something. So the contour one, ew, it's fucking disgusting. Okay. <laughs> the contour one, I still love a lot, um, but I don't use it all the time. I definitely gravitate more towards the e.l.f. one in terms of color. While this does work for me, it's still kind of not the best shade, I think, for me. I think we're gonna part with him because I, I see more use out of the bronzer than I do the liquid contour. I feel good about that. I re actually really don't, but <laughs> I'm trying to be good about that. <sighs> So the next are from Kaja. These are the bento boxes. This is absolutely a yes. I know these also have a highlighter and a blush, but we're really just going to look at the contour in this one because it's okay. If I could open it, that would be amazing. Okay, hi. <laughs> so this is in the shade Sugar Cookie. I also have it in this shade, but I, I don't even touch this one because I just really utilize the blush and the highlighter in this. So I'm gonna keep this because I really like the other two products, but I don't really ever really need to use the bottom and I can't separate them. So I'm just gonna show you what the swatch looks like, but as you can see, it's very, very deep. So this one's Sugar Cookie. This one is a Dolce Cappuccino. This one is so good. This one's so good if you are fair. Oh man. Uncooked chicken who? You look fucking like a light rotisserie chicken. It's so good. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm keeping him because I like the other two components of this, but this one is absolutely perfect. It's funny when this first came out, I was kind of like, I don't know about this one. I really love the idea of the bento box, but I often find that I always declutter things from the bento box line um, from Kaja because it's just not as functional and I don't think about them and they kind of just like end up in the back of the drawer and that sucks. But this product though is like 10 out of 10. If you ever see this during a Sephora sale, or Yes Style or whatever, pick this up. This is fucking worth every goddamn penny. And if you can get on sale, that's a bigger plus. Uh, but yeah, this is great. Good formula, super smooth, super easy to work with, and something that I like taking with me when I travel. It's everything you need all in one. So yes, we're keeping these guys. Now we're moving into Milk Makeup Territory. So this is their Bionic Bronzer. This one was really, really good, but I haven't used it in a bit, and I feel like because, ew, it just started to bubble up. Ew. <laughs> Okay, I haven't used this one in a bit and now it's starting to like fucking spit at me. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> okay, so that's what it that's what it looks like. <laughs> um mmm 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 okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
okay, just, just shake that shit up a little bit, right? Um, this one was fine. This is a fine product. I had no problem working with it. The only thing I will say that it's probably the thing that's gonna make me get rid of it, other than that weird like pissing out of its ass thing, is that um, the color is definitely not right for me. It's very, very deep. And while you can blend this out if you do use it very lightly, it's still a product that I feel like, eh, I don't want things that I just have to fucking baby constantly, right? I don't want things that are just going to uh, make me problematic. So this could be one of them. <laughs> so we're going to toss this one aside, but, but formula wise, totally good. Don't have any complaints about it. So the other product from Milk Makeup is their little chode stick. This is the Toasted and Soft Sculpt. This is okay. It's not my favorite thing that I have on the table, but it's not my least favorite thing. Um, it's kind of in the middle, can be sometimes a little forgettable. Doing that swatch kind of gets me a little excited to see what the possibilities are. So I think maybe I need to give this a little bit more of a chance. When I have used it, it's been fine. It's okay. It's not the fucking end all be all. And I feel like that's how it's gonna die. It's gonna just be like, I'm mediocre. Uh, <laughs> but I wanna give it a little bit more of a chance though. Um, but yeah, again, not the best thing on the table, but not the worst thing on the table, kind of somewhere in the middle. And I think the same could be said for this product. This is from Freck. This is the Face Hack. I don't know how I've collected so many tiny, adorable bronzers. I have no idea. But when I have used this, I often feel like I pair it with the wrong things. And I feel like I can't really speak to like, if this is something that I would genuinely repurchase again. This is kind of going to live in the like milk makeup contour stick land. I don't hate it, but I don't know if I love it yet. But I still need to play around with this one. This product is fucking probably one of my favorite things on this table and I can't even open her up. Aha. This is from Makeup by Maria. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Light. I, as you can see, I hit pan. I don't shut up about this product. This is the perfect bronzer, no bronzer. If you don't like bronzer, but you want a little bit of something, this is the product for you. It's such a good formula. It's so easy to use and you're gonna wanna use it over and over and over again, as you can see from my little hole there. It's perfect. It's definitely within the top five of favorite things on this table. And I'm so damn excited excited for their concealer. I also have another Makeup by Mario product. This is the Soft Sculpt Shape Stick in, in the shade Light. Comes with that weird kind of alien crop circle butthole brush, which I mean, I, I don't even really fucking use. It's just there. This is another good product too. It's just not as good as this product in my opinion, but good enough that I want to keep it. But this is in the shade Light. Again, really good formula. Anything within the sticks, I feel like have been incredibly amazing. And I think had this not been invented, I would totally be fine with this. But because this is here, I'm like, get out of the way. <laughs> you are the king. But I still do like this and I do get a, still a fair amount of use out of it. So we're gonna keep both Mario's. This is another really great option. This is from Tower 28. This is the Sculptino in the shade Broad. I don't know why everything is so difficult to open today, but this is such a good formula. Really enjoy this one. It's a really nice, like warm, neutral option. It doesn't pull too orange on me and it just gives me that perfect vacation glow. I love a lot of things from Tower 28 and this is probably one of my favorite products. I have such a soft spot for M Cosmetics and this is a So Soft line. This is like their contour bronzer. This is in the shade Terra. I can make this work for me. I know it looks very, very deep, but when it blends out though, it just looks so perfect on my skin and it doesn't look too much. This is so good. This will probably be the deepest shade of bronzer that I have on the table. But as you can see, like even then blending it out, it still works really, really good for fair skin. This is such a good formula. Oh my God. Between this and the blush sticks are fucking amazing. I think for a while there, I was just exclusively just using the contour and the blush all the time. Like I had to stop. I was like, I need to like show love to other products. <laughs> this is great. And this is, I think my second one or third one. I forgot. I think it's actually third one. This is so good. Love, love, love. I love this so much and it's unbelievable that it's still so good. So this is from the uh, Makeup Revolution Simpsons collection. This little liquid bronzer was like my favorite fucking thing out of that whole collection. And yes, she looks deep, honey, she does. And you know what, I take that back. I thought milk makeup was gonna be the deepest thing on the table. Nope, this is it. And we're still gonna hold on to her. She is so good. She, I can't even explain it. I don't even understand how, but this gives me faith in Makeup Revolution. I don't know why. <laughs> 
I don't know how, but this is probably one of the best products that they're ever put out. I like it because yes, it's deep, but it kind of has a reddish undertone. So it just looks really, really nice on me and a little bit goes a long way. So I actually put a lot on, but I do a little bit. And I know I just said literally a few minutes ago, I don't want products where I just like, you know, have to like baby it. I'm a Libra, okay? <laughs> I've changed my mind a lot and I feel like there are exceptions to the rule and this my friend is the motherfucking exception okay this is great I will move mountains for this product okay so yeah you stay <laughs> I love being a hypocrite. This is a relatively new product. This is from Essence. This is the Baby Got Bronze. This is so good. This is fucking everything. Love the shit out of this product. It's actually funny because it feels like it's gonna be like, that's really, really deep. But when I tell you, baby, when I start to kind of massage and blend it out, it's just perfect for my uncooked chicken ass. I feel like I kind of look a little dirty. Don't mind that swatch though. <laughs> Because when I tell you, because I actually have used this already in a few videos as of late, it's so easy to work with. It's so seamless. It just makes me look amazing. And I just love that it looks like a little chode. And who would have thought something that's like five bucks would be one of the most amazing things on the table. So it just goes to show that price means nothing. <laughs> Something like this could really just be the goat of the whole fucking thing, but this is amazing. So we're keeping her. The next product is from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer. This one isn't bad. I like this product. This is a product that's relatively new in my collection. I like her. I have no problems with the formula or anything like that. But I think when I look at my collection, I don't know if there's a place for this one. So yeah. Like she's good, she's good. She does give a nice glow, but I feel like this is meant for those that kind of have more of like a light skin, not necessarily a fair skin. While it doesn't pull orange or anything like that, it's just still a product that I kind of half the baby and it's not as good as the Makeup Revolution to, you know, make that exceptions list. So I think we are going to, we're gonna have to declutter this. No, fuck, I don't want to. <laughs> It's like, no, go ahead, mama, please. We can figure out a way to make this work. I'm gonna hold on to her. But you're hanging on by a thread, okay? <laughs> you're on notice just like Flower Beauty. <laughs> the next product I have is from Hindash and this is in the shade Carve. This is so good. I remember doing a video of this and just literally going ham. Uh, <laughs> and I really didn't need to. This one's good. You can blend her out to be more uncooked chicken friendly. And I like that. And yeah, we're definitely gonna keep this one. And then last but certainly not least, these are getting the fuck out of here. This is from the Profusion Jurassic Park collection. And I mean, I, yeah, look, this is the stupidest thing. Can you even see that? That's the doe foot. The bronzer hurts. <laughs> The application process was garbage. I got it in both shades and yeah, it's just, it's not a functional product. Uh, I don't understand why it should have been like a squeezy thing at this point. Like giving me like a baby doe foot is just a slap in the fucking face. These are adorable, 10 out of 10, but quality and just overall functionality, it's a fucking negative thousand. <laughs> So we are going to declutter these. And now that brings me back to the three maybes. Okay, also known as a hidden Mickey. How cute. <laughs> Tell me you live in Florida without telling me you live in Florida, right? Uh, <laughs> so we have the Tanessa Myricks. We have it in the shade four. I do love a Coke spoon. I do, I really do. Am I gonna use it though? That's the question. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you're on notice. You're on notice, Vanessa Myricks, okay? You're gonna say you made the cut, but like you might be in the bottom, okay? <laughs> you need to prove yourself here. Moving on to say, I, I love this one. I love this one, but in all reality, like I don't need to ever use a shade ever again because the fair one is just so much uh, better for me. So hold on, let me go back. Let's just make sure y'all. <sighs> Yeah, that fair one. But it's still so good though. It's so good. I can't, I mean, they're totally two different tones. <laughs> I can't, I'm so, I can't part. I can't part. I can't do it. I can't do it. I flew too close to the sun. I don't like it here. I need both my stays to come home with me. You're in light. You're good. I can't. It's like, don't make me have to choose. <laughs> We're keeping the say, and I regret nothing. I regret nothing, okay? I regret nothing. This, what am I gonna do with you? I am so sad, bro. I don't understand it. I got this this year, and it doesn't, it doesn't wanna work. <sighs> and maybe it's one of those things that I have to kind of just massage over and over again to try to get it to come back to life, but I don't like that it's kind of chunky now. Fuck. 
Yeah, I really don't like how chunky it is. I feel like a bronzer shouldn't be like that, especially when I have things on the table that are older than this and are just super creamy and emollient. And this is just dry as fuck. It's like picking up like all these awful pieces. I can't, I, you got, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I want to love you so badly. And when you're good, you're good, babe. You are so good, but you do not last 12 months. <laughs> I call bullshit on that one. Also, I feel like I'm blending it out so much that I blended into nothing. How did that work? Okay, we, we just gotta go. We just gotta go, we gotta go. Okay, hold on, let me just try. <laughs> let me just try one more time. Let me try it on this hand just to make sure I'm not whatever. Okay, 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 okay. No, you're out, you're out. You, you disappointed me for the last time, Chanel. <laughs> I will stick to your powder products only. This. This broke my heart. Okay, here are all the babies that I'm decluttering, which, you know what? I have to say I did a pretty good job. I did a pretty good job. Pat on my hand. I feel good about this. Okay, so let's get rid of these guys. You see how this is like the last one? It's like, I don't want, I don't want to. It breaks my heart. Ugh. All right, but you gotta go. Sorry, bud. You know what? No, that's not cool. Why am I saying sorry to that product? That product should be fucking saying sorry to me <laughs> for wasting my time and money and Ulta points. <clears throat> Okay, so let's uh, organize. This is a container that I got from the container store and we are just going to try our best to fit everything in. Cue the music. Do we feel good about that? Don't answer that, because I feel like someone's gonna be like, no, it doesn't make sense what you're doing. I like this part. This I can fuck with. This I feel like, okay, like they're big beefy bitches, fine. And then, yeah, no, I feel good about this. Much better than my powder one. <laughs> much better than my powder one. But yeah, okay. This looks so much neater. And now I'm kind of thinking maybe I should put, should I put these in the middle and then these in the back? No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Should I? <laughs> should I? No, I like it, I like it. I feel good about this one. Because I mean, even if I did put like, say this here, I mean, that could also kind of work well. well. But then she's lonely, so we kind of can't do that. We have to put Charlotte. Charlotte and Danessa, they're friends. They need to go together, right? So, yes. And here, do I love how this looks? I don't know if I love how this looks. No, I like it. It's in size order. It's fine. This one's kind of like the odd one out. Uh, it's not really in size order that well. Hold on. <laughs> that one's actually longer, right? So, nope, we can't slide that one back there. So it's gonna have to be this like this. I don't know why this matters because when I'm opening and closing doors, everything is just gonna fall over anyway. <sighs> I'm just gonna, okay, we're, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna try to stand you up. Okay. Mm, 
I love it less. Okay, wait. Don't look at this. <laughs> we still look good though. I like it. Let me just <laughs> slowly move it over. Now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of the bronzers that I talked about in today's video. And did you declutter ones that I didn't? Or did we declutter the same things? Let me know because I love hearing from you. Again, thank you so much to Pair Eyewear for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, Threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting. Garbage but afloat. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious face and I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what is currently on my nails, everything you need to know, including where I got the container, will be listed down below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye!